Hi guys, welcome back to Danke My Name. We are here at our enormous mob farm, soon to be mob farm. Right at this moment I am trying to encase the whole thing in some sort of, well, <laughs> in something more stable than sand, because I'm quite worried that as soon as we start digging on the inside we will dig into this sand and have water breaking into our build. So to prevent that I will yeah, <laughs> place a lot of blocks and make this thing safe so we can get started on digging. I've decided to make this episode more of an explaining episode because I realized that many of you, or at least a few, um, do not really play Minecraft and maybe don't even know what we're doing right now here, what a mob farm is what a mob is, what the heck we are building, and yeah. Let me give you a quick overview of what Minecraft is, and let me try to explain what a current project is all about. Minecraft is an open world game that you can play either alone or, as we do here, on a server with friends. Every world is randomly generated and has different well, biomes, continents, um, stuff like villages, dungeons, temples that you can find if you go explore. There are different game modes, like for example the creative game mode, where you can basically just fly around freely, place everything, every block in the game right off the bat, and you're pretty much, pretty much invincible. Or survival mode, where you start with nothing, gather resources to survive, where you have to face threats like starvation or hostile mobs that, well, basically want to eat your face. You gotta craft tools and weapons and armor, you gotta dig for valuable resources like iron or gold or diamonds deep underground, or even look for the really good stuff, the really good loot, in the other dimensions. That would be the, um, hmm, the nether dimension, which kind of looks like, well, hell, <laughs> or the even weirder end dimension, that's where um, I got my elytra wings from, for example. But that is, at least for me, not the most important part of the game, no. The big deal for me is the building aspect of the game, as you can, you can build almost anything your in imagination comes up with. Doesn't matter if that is a cozy house, a massive castle, skyscrapers or an underground lair or just some weird undescribable fun build. You build what you want. Just gotta get your, your hands on the building blocks, the resources, and as you might imagine, the bigger you build, the more resources you need, naturally. That is where the micromanaging begins. With this massive palette of materials, you gotta get your head around stuff like inventory management and maybe even take a look at ways to automate some, some of the grinding process. That is the point where you start figuring out uh, things like, like redstone, which is the Minecraft version of electricity, or something, something close to electricity. Um, and game mechanics that revolve around spawning certain creatures or plant growth. Now, Minecraft is a 10 year old game, 10 years. And there are thousands of YouTube videos explaining those mechanics, showing how to build stuff. And um, most people base their more complicated builds, especially their automated builds on the design of others. Same goes for us here. Which brings me to this very build. What is the goal? The goal is a constant supply of some very specific resources that can only be acquired through killing hostile mobs. I really don't want to hop through the, through the world and manually slay hundreds of skeletons and zombies at night. I, I really don't. And I need the stuff they drop. We always need for example, bones, which drop from skeletons, and we need that for crafting bone meal, that is um, sort of the fertilizer in this game. 
has other uses as well, but mostly for bone meal. We also have a use for rotten meat, which drops from zombies. We can trade that with our villagers, even if I do not really know why they would want that. But okay, we need... what else do we need? We need gunpowder from creepers to craft TNT from, or to craft this those rockets that I used to, to fly around with. And so on and so on. There's more mobs, there's more stuff we need. We want everything. This building will later, once it's done, have platforms where those mobs will spawn on, as well as a way to automatically kill them, and then collect and sort all the items they drop. We'll have to create the ideal conditions for them to spawn. For example, darkness, as hostile creatures only spawn when the light is below a certain level, which is also why they spawn at night. We will also have to light up the surrounding area, because the game generates mobs in the area surrounding the player. And we want the only possible space the game can generate those mobs to be within the mob farm when we are around. And we're digging down to bedrock, which is basically the, the bottom part of the world. Because the rates at which the mobs spawn increase the deeper down you go. And last but not least, I'd like to try to shape this whole thing into something that looks cool. My plan is to create a mountain around the farm, a sort of rocky island with cliffs and some greenery. With um, a shipwreck on its shore. A ship that crashed into the, into the cliffs. And the ship would be the spot where we get inside, to the mob farm, and where we are safe from outside threats, and also where we can grab all the pre-sorted goodies directly from a chest. That is the plan. I hope this explanation made some kind of sense. Okie dokie, and now comes the really grindy part. Not the munching steak part, the really grindy part, the digging. Whew. What I have prepared here is something else that I might have to explain, but that will not take quite as long. I have my chest with, with shiny stuff. And what I have in here is a beacon. Now, a beacon is a very magical item. No, a beacon is something hard to acquire. You have to fight a really... Um, difficult boss. You have to summon a boss and, and fight it to acquire this beacon. You have to place it on a platform of something valuable like iron blocks or gold blocks or diamond blocks or whatever you whatever you want. You build sort of a little pyramid. Dum -dum. More building. I'm not quite sure how this is needed to be, but we'll see. I think I got the right size. Boop, 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 boop. Boom! Beacon on top. And what this does is gives it gives you a status effect. La! Also very, very shiny light source. Here we put some some valuable thing inside to activate it. And what we need is the haste effect. That is what the beacon is here for. Yes, activate. And now we should... Ah! See it popped up in the in the corner up here? You have the haste effect now, which means we can... Which means we cannot mine as fast as I thought because I think I forgot one layer of the thing. Dang it. it. Has to be a certain height to get the full effect. Just gonna take down right quick and add one more layer to the pyramid. The goal is to have a instant mine effect. There is haste one, which you can get with a small pyramid like this, or haste two, 
which lets you instant mine stone. Now this should have worked. We have haste two. Yes. Oh, and it's night. That is not good. One second. Gotta sleep because there's the possibility that monsters spawn around us here and I really do not want that. So now let's see if this worked. Get our trusty pickaxe. Oh yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Woohoo! So I'm going to start digging now. And I'm gonna dig for a long time, which is why I think this bit would be best in form of a time lapse. And you know what? I managed to install a camera account. Hello! This means as you guys watch from above and we listen to some nice music, I will be going ham on all this stone and everything else until I am at bedrock. Have fun! Welcome back to the the big dig. Um, we have, uh, or Mr. Cakes has mostly done the first layer, the the Hello. base. Hello, where are you? Wait, 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 wait. Are you down here? Are you down? I'm in jail. You're in jail. Okay, you're in mob jail. That's okay. That's okay. That's totally where you belong. We have oh, built. Oh my God. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I won't disturb the minecart. We've built the first layer whoops, of the normal mob farm and we had a slight change of plans because we discovered a slime chunk, the more, more 
advanced Minecraft players might know what that is. And for the people who don't know, there are, let me quickly show you via a shortcut, there are so-called ch chunks in this game where certain mobs generate. And because we already talked about mob generation, slimes, those um, nasty little green buggers, they spawn in certain yeah. random chunks and we had got lucky and we have one in this big hole. So we de um, divided this mob farm that was supposed to be all like this into different sections and one section is a slime farm. Those guys are yeah, okay. involuntary helpers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are iron golems that mm -hmm. we summoned and the slimes just spawn on these platforms and surrounding them mm -hmm. yeah they, they don't like the iron golems mm -hmm. and so they jump towards them and fall down because they don't understand that there is a gap mm -hmm. and they fall all the way down onto these magma blocks where they and die mm -hmm. there they die yes and then we have a minecart that just goes under these blocks and collects all the oh. drops. Okay, that would be the first part. For people who don't know, maybe we should show what a minecart does? How that works? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you have this... This is a minecart. <laughs> this goes round and round and round and round and round. Mm -hmm. And what it does is maybe I can try and like... Come. Oh. oh, so many slimes, I saw them. Yeah. Nice. So mm -hmm. what's, what this does is it goes on a rail, mm -hmm. as you can see here. Yeah. And if it goes under a block mm -hmm. and there are things on that block, did you see? Loose items. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it just picks them up. All right. Really oh, but um, oh. it's a hopper minecart. Yes. That might be the important part because a hopper is a... Wait, do we have a hopper here? Doesn't matter. A hopper is an, like a Sorry. vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> it just um, munches everything that is loose, lying on the ground and collects it. So yeah, that is exactly. what these hopper minecarts do. They just uh, vacuum clean everything that the mobs drop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's why they can pick up everything on top of those uh, magma blocks. Mm -hmm. So when we say bye-bye. And... and then it goes all around around but we have to be careful we should not stay here so we may because we block it yeah 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 yeah. so it goes up mm -hmm. and then into the item pickup system if you want to say so so this is um yeah this is this is in the next part uh, we have the same minecart solution for the other two mob modules mob mm -hmm. farm modules mm -hmm. if you want to say so so if yes. you come here there's some, ah, oh, wow. uh, don't get girl. Yep. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. if you see, see here, you, there are um, rails as well mm -hmm. underneath these um, Down there. magma blocks. So there goes another minecart picking up all the mobs, uh, the drops. Same over here. Um, mm -hmm. So we have three different minecarts and three different um, rail systems, mm -hmm. and each one of them has its own um, item pickup collection system, if you want to say so. Okay. And this system actually is from uh, Logical Geek Boy. That's one on I really, really like. Which it's... I have to please remind me to link that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. Um, it's it's just awesome. I really like it. It's looks very Super complicated and frightening for someone who isn't used to building with redstone. Yeah. yeah, come come, come with me. Maybe best to explain this at the creeper farm. We won't explain the creeper farm, but just the item unloading system, because that is the same design, I believe, but in yeah, simpler. It is the same. So this whole farm is from Logical Geek Boy. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 let me wait. wait for the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now this whole tower, I mean, is uh, designed by Logical Geek Boy as well. Okay. So, but just uh, focus on this one here. Mm -hmm. um, minecart track. We, we know uh, that. Minecart track, track and the minecart comes in here. Mm -hmm. It 
goes this way. Hello. And what happens here is it checks. This is this comparator checks if the minecart is fully loaded. So mm -hmm. the minecart hopper or hopper minecart has five spots. And when all five spots are completely full, then mm -hmm. this comparator triggers. Okay. Meaning it changes the direction of this rail here. I won't go in detail with all these redstone bits. It has to do with this, um, as I mentioned before in my explainy bit, this is the equivalent to electricity in, in Minecraft. And there are signals going in, signals going out, things powering yeah. other things. And yeah. yes. So it just checks if the <laughs> Minecraft is full, this rail switches and it goes in here. Mm -hmm. Then it goes over here on this detector rail. Um, mm -hmm. And what happens next is it's stays here because this gate here will close so and this this keeps just, it in its yeah yeah this keeps the prison mm -hmm. so and just until this one reopens again um the minecart stays here and as long as it stays here you see in this glass down there there's another mm -hmm. minecart actually it's like trapped in there so what happens is the minecart goes in here stays here until it's empty and this minecart below here actually draws uh, draws items out of the minecart. So this thing is basically hopper section, and one hopper unloads the other. Yes, exactly, one exactly. hopper minecart unloads the other hopper minecart. Yes, exactly. And, and as soon as as it's empty, it's spooping it's out again. Off again, yeah. It goes doing it its goes. job, being busy. Yes, exactly. And good, good lady uh, minecart. What's next is that these items then go into this dropper down here, this little face. Yep. And this, that one keeps on shooting items out as long as there are items inside. So basically from this point on where the items are drawn out of the minecart that comes in, mm -hmm. that's some system of yeah, regulating your items, putting them somewhere you want, and so on. Micromanagement, so, exactly. Yeah. Efficiency. You as you wish. You yada, 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 yada. Okay, in, in, in essence, the minecart does the job of collecting all the items automatically, comes here, gets unloaded, and through redstone magic, every item from the minecart gets sorted through this street of hoppers and magic down to those chests where the items get stored like in this yeah. case gunpowder because this is gunpowder farm and, and this is exactly what we yeah. want for a mob farm we want everything yeah. to be nice and neat ordered in in chess yeah and this is the case um this one looks pretty pretty small compared to the one at the mob farm oh you mean that... you mean the item sorter not the farm okay yeah, the, no, the, the, the pickup system, I mean. Mm -hmm. And we have a visitor. Because mm -hmm. in the other, at the mob farm, we have uh, three stages of this. So we have three different minecart rail sections. So we have this oh, okay. three, in three layers. So that's why it looks so big over there. Alrighty, alrighty. So that is the, the massive project that we have undertaken. And we just realized that it won't. Oh, look. Can see it in action because it's night and we didn't sleep look all the platforms are generating mobs oh, and ang angry we, enderman yes angry enderman what we actually cannot do is show how it works because we cannot trigger the the water right now oh we can sure we can but i don't want to go down there i can yeah, show neither do I. The mobs. So yeah, just... let's let's just sleep and then show without the mobs. Yeah. So quick, just to quickly explain um, how the mobs actually get killed, <laughs> um, we have in Kickset has installed this flushing system. Let's just call it a flushing system. Once those those mobs yeah. spawn on those here platforms, this dispenser that has a water bucket in it, every dispenser has a water bucket in it um they will get triggered they are also wired with redstone which every layer of those we have to build many 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 layers of those just up to the top 
with one switch or button press or whatever, you will be able to trigger all this redstone, all those dispensers. They will, maybe we can just showcase that. Do you have something? <coughs> exactly. Flush everything down. You see how I move? Slowly but surely. They will move every mob on the platform down into the lava. So every once in a while they will get triggered and everything that spawned on the platform will get flushed. Killed and the exactly. items how, and get how sorted. It triggered is just, it's just magic. Yeah, that is magic and is that magic. is future magic because we will spend so much time building this thing. We will have to craft yeah. so many dispensers. <laughs> so many uh, dispensers. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think I will just bring you guys back once this is done and the, then we can have a look. Yeah. Before and after because this is nothing I want to I want to do on camera. Really not. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, we have the um, elevator for the items because yes, uh, yes. right now what happens is the, all the minecarts will be dropping off the items right here. And you see this glass water stream wait, going wait, let me there. Let me show the drop-off station so that makes sense. So, yeah. they... Wait. Why does it have so many layers? Ah, uh, one for each of the three minecarts. You stopped the cart again. I know. The other way. Okay. Okay, so each of the three minecarts has a layer of the item unloading station. Do I get that right? That is completely correct, yes. Okay. So oh, there are a few slimes right now. Sweet. <laughs> really? Wait, On the wait. top. On the top. Come up, come up, come no, up. I want to show stuff. Slime not important. Okay. Um, so stuff gets unloaded, and just as over in the mob uh, gunpowder farm, it gets. Let me show you right down here. Minecart gets in, gets unloaded. Stuff gets dropped down here through the dispenser, the face, and dropped into this water stream, which is through magic able to transport things upwards so everything that this whole farming district whole generates every item will end up here flowing up and up there somewhere we will install a sorting system many many chests where everything has its own chest and we can just stand there and wait for stuff to to generate this will enable the farm so we can like make a lid on this so we mm -hmm. never have to go down there so it will mm -hmm. just work fully automatically so, so it will just occasionally flash out stuff we wait for the stuff to come up mm -hmm. so this is pretty good yes at least we hope but it will take ages it will definitely take ages okay <laughs> thank you so much for explaining mr keeks that was Quite a handful. Yay. Yay. Yeah, okay. I hope so. You wanna you wanna say bye with me because I think I will end the video here. Bye. <laughs> no. We see us in the next episode, maybe after yes. we finished. Yes, we will. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.